What's up, nerds? Uh, today we're going to be talking about our broken build of Willbender. Incredible boons, ridiculous mobility, and high DPS damage, strike damage, as well as condition. The great thing about fighting Willbenders is that they all open with one of their virtues, typically F1 virtue, and a port. So the first thing I'm going to do is close a little space, hit him with a burst, evade his burst, then port back, create a little CC, get a block in, create some distance on him again as he spams all his virtues as they are want to do, get some range damage in, keep out of that melee area attack, push him away, and we have him. So again, pretty much the same strategy here. I'm going to try and close a little bit of that space first, throw a burst on him, and I'm anticipating that port and burst. So I evade, he actually doesn't do the burst here. Comes forward into the burst, I see it coming, so I use my block, move away from him a little bit, use my evade, and then create some more distance using my other block. I try hitting him with a CC here, but he's immune to it from a stab. I hit him with a decent burst, but he's able to kite away, then he ports back to me, so I hit him with another shatter and use my port to keep that distance out of his melee attacks. I evade his F1 here into his Whirl combo and I'm able to get my Invuln and start cutting away. His HP is lower than mine at this point, so he's playing more defensively. I create that port if I need it, hit him with another burst, and port back out of his melee, downing him. Here, again, I start closing space. I evade that initial port burst all the way under to do. Be able to evade it, immediately go into Shroud to try and corrupt some boons into conditions with Shroud 2. Come out of Shroud to save it. Throw down my Greatsword 4 when he ports to me, he does. To corrupt boons, and I kite away a little bit, waiting for him to burst. I see the burst coming, I dodge it, immediately going back into Shroud, hitting that Shroud 2 to convert those boons into conditions and get some good damage on him. Port away a little bit, throw on Stab, drop Shroud. He does his heal virtue, so I kind of wait a little bit. I come back to him and hit him with a focus 5, which does decent damage. I see him do his F3, so now it's going to give him boons. Go into shroud, hit that shroud 2 to corrupt those boons. Put some chill on him and then hit him with a good burst, and he's dead. For fighting all wheel vendors, whether it's celestial, condi, or power, the biggest principles still apply. Watch out for that initial burst with the Virtue, since we're going to get your most damage with that F1 and or F3, whether they're Power or Condi. Control the battle space. Create space where you need it to avoid their melee and close in for that damage when you can either corrupt their booms or when they don't have booms. A lot of Willbenders will, as soon as they start losing, try to kite away. It is very likely that they will be able to get away just with the mobility that they have if they have retained any of their virtues or ports. But not this guy. Anyway, good luck fighting those will tenders. <laughs> Prefere o DJ, nosso bonde tá pesadão, 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 o bonde tá pesadão, 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 pes